Good to be here, and I'd like to thank the organizers and congratulate them for a really great meeting and for the opportunity to update everybody on our progress. And I'm presenting today on behalf of JSITE, so I direct you to my disclosure statement. And uh, I am a founder of JSITE, along with Jing Yang. Uh, there's the two of us pictured uh, delivering some of the cell product to one of our two clinical sites in the uh, clinical trial I'm going to tell you about today. Uh, this clinical site is the Gavin Herbert Eye Institute at UC Irvine, uh, and the other one is RVA up in Los Angeles. JSITE was founded uh, just a few brief years ago um, and uh, so far has licensed our intellectual property from the regents of UC, uh, has also filed and obtained orphan designation and retinitis pigmentosa, which we'll be discussing, and has undertaken and uh, achieved the IND and IRB approval uh, process and has uh, served as a sponsor for the trial that I'm going to talk about. So our initial indication is retinitis pigmentosa. Um, this is a classical form of inherited retinal degeneration, although it also occurs spontaneously. It's a progressive disease in which the photoreceptors die, uh, resulting in severe visual disability, which basically translates into blindness. Um, and this blindness occurs during the prime productive years of the individual, so it's a very handicapping disease with a huge social impact, and all the more so because there's no effective treatment, so clearly an unmet need um, in this condition. It's an orphan disease, but within that family of orphan diseases, it's actually uh, relatively common uh, to the extent that there's over a million patients worldwide. Um, and um, within this category of RP, there are a number of other rarer conditions, uh, such as Usher syndrome and LCA that you may have heard of. Now, our product is uh, based on the human retinal progenitor cell technology. These cells are derived from uh, fetal retinas, and this is a basic expansion process in culture that does not require any specific differentiation or purification steps. Uh, and for that reason, and because it's not derived from pluripotent cells like ES or IPS cells, this makes it a simpler matter to manufacture these cells uh, without some of the challenges that uh, go along with working with cells of those types. Um, the primary mechanism of action, action that our clinical protocol is looking to capture is uh, neurotrophic, um, although the cells also have a capacity for cell replacement uh, in terms of like photoreceptors in the retina. Um, but our primary goal is to, to capture this neurotrophic effect uh, as illustrated in the uh, slides in the uh, lower right hand corner there between an untreated and treated retinas. Um, the uh, colored dots being the photoreceptors that are uh, rescued in the treated eye. Um, and then it's important to point out that although we see RP as a, a really perfect uh, risk-benefit proposition and a great clinical low-hanging fruit um, and a, a perfect proving ground for a clinical proof of concept, uh, it's also true that this same cell type should have applicability in a whole variety of retinal conditions uh, involving cell loss in the retina. So just to, to summarize our product, and, and this is uh, the product and the treatment strategy, uh, very simple. Um, it's just a, a suspension of dissociated retinal progenitor cells from culture. They are allogeneic. Uh, they're expanded under GMP conditions. Uh, they're thawed, uh, they're cryopreserved, then thawed and harvested prior to, to injection into the vitreal cavity, which is performed in the office under topical anesthesia. A very simple process. And the patients are not burdened with uh, a lot of uh, complicated follow up, such as keeping their head down or uh, immune suppression. We've uh, achieved quite a few milestones in the brief time that JSITE's been around. Um, we're part of the CIRM pipeline, including uh, early translational and disease team awards, and also part of the uh, new Alpha Clinic initiative at UCI, partnered with UCLA. 
Um, we've obtained a number of grants to fund this work, totaling over 20 million, which has gotten us to where we are now, and we'll continue uh, to fund the trial. We um, got the orphan designation, as I mentioned, and we've partnered with NIH NCATS, uh, that's the people interested in rare diseases and translation uh, at the NIH, uh, and they helped us with the preclinical aspect of our program. So we've successfully manufactured the cells at a GMP facility at UC Davis as part of the grant process. Uh, we licensed the IP from Regents, as we mentioned. Uh, we applied uh, for the IND, and it's active as of this year. And so uh, we've initiated the trial, uh, early phase um, safety trial, which is underway, and it's already gone through uh, one DSMB uh, review to date. Um, and uh, the, the patent was also approved this year by the USPTO, and uh, we continue to work on broad international coverage. So uh, here's the trial. Our primary objective is, of course, safety. Uh, we are looking at two dose levels, half a million and a million cells. Again, human retinal progenitor cells injected into the vitreous of the eye uh, where the cells uh, are expected to exert a neurotrophic effect on the, the host photoreceptors. Uh, secondary objective is, of course, to look for function, um, and uh, that's something that's uh, part of the trial. So the status here is that we've uh, already enrolled eight of 16 patients. That completes cohort one in terms of enrollment. Uh, the, the study is divided into two basic cohorts, one with a more severely impacted vision, that would be cohort one, and then um, after another DSMV review of the data obtained from the first cohort, uh, we'll be moving into cohort two, and these patients will have uh, somewhat better vision, and that means they'll have more residual photoreceptors, so there's going to be more uh, uh, photoreceptors available for the product to impact. These are our uh, assessments as part of the trial, nothing um, unusual here. And uh, in terms of next steps, of course, we're going to complete enrollment uh, in the initial trial and then complete the trial with one year follow-up period. Uh, during the meantime, we're going to be working to set up the phase 2B hopefully move uh, seamlessly ahead um, from the first trial into the second aspect of this. Um, something that's getting a lot of work right now is uh, working on JSITE itself. So, so far it's been a shell. It's been, uh, I, I talked about what JSITE's actually contributed to the project, um, but uh, you can expect a lot of changes over the next 12-month period, and we're looking forward to that. Meanwhile, at the lab, we're uh, exploring a number of therapeutic indications, um, including uh, AMD, diabetic retinopathy, um, and uh, various optic neuropathies, um, among other indications. Um, so uh, I'd like to thank all of our partners, um, and particularly single out CIRM, who's been instrumental in helping us along, uh, not only providing a bulk of the, the wherewithal to make this happen, but also facilitating our rapid progress through the translational pipeline, uh, starting as an academic uh, entity and uh, transitioning towards the private sector here. Um, also our partners within the academic community um, and uh, RVA, who's doing a really phenomenal job uh, as a clinical site. And uh, I thank you very much. Thank you.